a believer can be prayerful and yet your prayer can be impotent and the reason why the prayer of the believer becomes impotent is because the believer can be prayerful but that there is a possibility that that believer can pray amiss are we learning from whence cometh wars and fighting among you come they not thence even from your lusts that war in your members verse 2 ye lost and have not ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain ye fight and war ye have not because you ask not you know what james is saying here he's saying all the bitterness and jealousy the fighting and the quarreling are unnecessary because the prayer platform is an equalizer it gives everybody an opportunity to have their desires met that means coveting another person's reality or testimony and getting angry about it is unnecessary that there is a provision in the spirit where anything you desire can become yours so he's saying you fight and you quarrel you ask and then you receive not did you ever read that it's possible to ask and yet will not receive he says because you ask amiss that you may consume it upon your loss very quickly what makes prayer a prayer that is amiss i just want to talk about that very quickly number one the first thing that makes prayer amiss is praying without the backing of scripture praying without the backing of scripture is praying amiss sociological emotional lamentation is not prayer praying outside of the backing of scripture is praying amiss are we together because like you were taught yesterday genesis chapter 21 and verse 1 god does not do what we want he only does what he says so when you align what you want to what he says it will look like god is answering you but god is honoring himself are we together now and the lord visited sarah as he had said and the lord did unto sarah as he has spoken if god has not spoken are we together now the modus operandi of the kingdom does not allow that God does what he did not say. So God's word precedes his action. Genesis chapter 1. The Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was void, formless, and darkness hovered around the face of the deep. Then the Bible says, verse 3, And Elohim said, and god said light be and the bible says there was light and he saw that it was good so that's always the protocol god says it and then he does it god says it and then it is made manifest so praying amiss is praying without scriptural backing this is very profound most people assume that just because they are talking to god and they mean what they are saying god is obliged to answer them that does not work that way hallelujah there are many many people who prayed in the bible and their prayers were not answered once you do not back your prayer with the word you do not back your prayer with scripture you are praying amiss number two what makes prayer praying amiss any desire that violates the way the kingdom operates will not be answered humorously sometimes when i teach on this i talk about people praying that god destroys um, his enemies let god arise and let his enemies be scattered before you pray that prayer verify who is god's enemy do you know who god's enemy is god's enemy is not the person you hate god's enemy is not the person you don't like God's enemy is anybody who makes himself a consistent interruption to God's program, even if that is you. So when you pray and say, let God arise and let all his enemies, it is possible to be in that list. You doubt me? Ask Jonah. 
the fact that you fight the will of god even if it's for that moment makes you his enemy anything that is anti-christ is god's enemy anything not anyone anything are we together so when you pray with a motif that is wrong that was the singular reason based on my study and in my opinion why the prayer of hannah was not answered the goal was not having a child that fulfills the purposes of god the goal was a competition trying to have just like penina and it was not enough for heaven to move on our behalf so the issue was not having a child the issue was wanting to feel like a woman just like penina because of the mockery you would think god would be moved by her tears and the years kept multiplying and it looked like heaven was silent one day she changed her motif paraphrasing lord you are looking for a prophet let my womb produce one she prayed once not twice once and the child came so when you come to god and say lord i want money I want ministry I want anointing I want this there is one question heaven will echo back to you why if you cannot answer that question why you will not get an answer from heaven because everything created by God was designed to serve his purposes everything created by God everything that secures God's attention and support must serve his purposes are we together so praying amiss number one without scriptural backing number two with a corrupted motif corrupted motif and then finally number three what makes prayer amiss praying without faith that means without the willingness to obey god there are many things god mandates that we do to commit him but most believers will prefer to go through the sacrifice the burden of shouting over heaven than to take that action of faith for instance there is no amount of prayer that will substitute for obedience there is no amount of prayer that will substitute for obedience if god gives you an instruction and say bring you a seed to your father in the lord and you say lord rather than giving him the seed let me fast for two days you will fast and it's just your spiritual life that will improve but that result you want to get you will not get it obedience indeed is better than sacrifice there are many many believers who prefer to pray in replacement to obedience and the reason is because uh, in prayer you just dissipate energy but obedience many times will cost you it will cost you to part away with physical things hallelujah the bible says they heard the word just like we did but the word did not profit them not be mixed with faith can i tell you one of the major assignments of prayer is to help you know the will of god the moment the will of god is known you obtain grace to walk in keeping with the conditions that commit god once your part is not played you render the word impotent hallelujah for instance the bible talks about diligence as a requirement for greatness if you pray with a commitment to remain lazy you are not going to have the prayer answered at best god will show you two dreams and visions that laziness is why you are there are we together now yeah prayer was not supposed to replace the various responsibility components that commit the believer as far as getting promises manifest i think it's a mistake that is done in church there are many people who perpetually live walk in disobedience and expect that just because they prayed it will automatically make that happen the bible says he that wants friends must show himself friendly if you're somebody who disregards people you have a lot of disdain for people pray the favor prayer you can as far as that will concern the answer will remain in the realm of the spirit because the human components that need to partner with the spirit of god you have ignored them and dishonor is the key that shuts any door are we together so when you pray outside 
of the provisions that scripture allows you are praying amiss number two when your motif is corrupted just to satisfy your lust there is no kingdom come contained in your desire there is no kingdom come there is nothing in your desire that glorifies jesus there is nothing in your desire that gives him praise there is nothing in your desire that sings his praises to the nations you will not secure answer from heaven and number three if you are praying without a commitment to obeying god or obeying the instructions that will come from that prayer there are many 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 people whose prayer remains impotent because it's a waste for the holy spirit to instruct them in the place of prayer because when god tells them the things to do they would not do it whatsoever he tells you to do john chapter 2 he says to do having the readiness to judge all disobedience he says when your obedience is complete are we learning now so this is very powerful i watch believers sincere believers who love the lord pray dissipating zeal and energy and you can see the mistakes that are made in prayer and sometimes i'm moved with so much compassion because i know that these people are praying with zeal albeit without knowledge what makes your activities in the spirit powerful is the understanding that supports what you are doing the difference between giving and do as donation and giving as a spiritual commitment that brings you a harvest of increase is understanding not just the seed when you carry a donation mentality there's no reward the reward is that people will have a good perception about you that they saw you dropping a seed but it will not reach heaven are we together so understanding is what gives strength to our spiritual activities you can dance just as a show and yet lose out on an opportunity to receive the blessings that come from such a powerful spiritual practice you can sing and it's just entertainment for you are we together now what gives life to the spiritual activities that we engage in is the understanding that supports what we're doing so before you act it's important that you educate yourself why am i doing this what is the revelation behind the things i'm doing i'm locking myself in the room and i am dancing before the lord what does this mean what blessing is connected to this obedience are we together i'm now emptying my account to bring my seed to church are you just doing it because you are frustrated or are you doing it because you have an understanding that no man outgives god hallelujah understanding is powerful jesus said i will build my church upon this formula that you have to understand first before you act who do men say that i am and they said you are this and that and he said this is ignorance but what do you say and peter said i know who thou art thou art christ even the son of the living god understanding understanding it is the reason why two people can come and drop the same seed the same amount under the same condition and even receive prophetic blessings from the man of god one will go and return with testimonies another person will return as if he never came to church oftentimes the difference is not the anointing that came upon them not the size of the seed necessarily but the understanding that supported what they did hallelujah praying amiss i'm praying for you that from today may your prayer produce power amen. shout a louder amen may your prayer amen. produce power amen. you may have heard me say nobody leaves what works the reason why many people plunge into prayerlessness is because they are frustrated by the repeated cycles of dissipating energy without corresponding testimonies when you pray and it produces you will pray again am i right on that when you pray and it produces i was very touched when i saw the testimony of the six month uh, baby you know just smiling and crying at the same time and enjoying i said my god look at this the power of prayer you don't want to spend time crying to a god that in your case looks like an idol because you are praying lord visit me nothing happens 
arise for me nothing happens okay forget about me and visit my child nothing happens everything you shout unto god and then you wrap up your prayer by saying amen and you walk out of that place knowing it will not be answered hallelujah do you know how powerful it is when everything you do produces results whatsoever he doeth prospers is that in your bible that includes your praying imagine how many people you want to see their conditions change that if you had the power through prayer to change their conditions and you've mastered the dynamics of potent functional and answered prayer you will pray and intercede with joy because you already have the heart to see people's problems you know turned around but for most people we pray and pray and pray and nothing happens let me remind you again one last time if your prayer is not answered these are the three areas to check number one the word compliancy may be found wanting that you are just praying emotional prayers for instance father thank you you are the lion of the tribe of judah rose of sharon lily of the valley and most people don't even believe what they are saying they don't even know the implication of what they are saying if you pick just one of those attributes of god and you study it it will build your faith what does it mean to be the lion of the tribe of judah and after we wrap up all those things we say god i'm here again will you allow shame like this is this how my life is going to be now of course i know you are being sincere and sympathetic god in my presence i'm watching all these my people this one that went to school when the, you are praying now the person now has a, a job the other day i was standing by the junction you are talking to god now and i saw this god you can't be doing all this kind of thing to me and then you say amen now let me be honest with you god is touched with the feelings of your infirmity he's called compassion but he's only moved by his word did you hear what i said god is touched with the feelings of your infirmity but he's bound himself to his word if god were not bound to his word nobody he died for who did not accept him will be in hell now his compassion will not allow them yet because the condition is that whoever receives the son has life whoever rejects the son has been condemned already so no matter how much he loves the sinner he will honor the sinners rejecting him even at the detriment of his eternal damnation this is how powerful god has bound himself to his word so if you think just because you are crying god will answer i want you to know that he still remains a god of love but you may be disappointed for a very long time church is quiet i assume the word is entering your spirit because i'm sure many people are just thinking ah so this is what i've been doing <laughs> praying outside of the scripture emotional sociological prayer a mix of wise sayings my father said nobody trouble me and the trouble you are talking to god no these things don't work that way pray like a believer a believer has been grafted into a new culture and there is a modus operandi that governs that culture are we together and then the bible says that we pray we have to examine our motif our motif our motif our motif god you gave this sister rapper give me two i'm watching you and god says no this is not how i walk if that is why you are here let's talk about something else but as far as the matter of a rapper is concerned forget it this is not how i give people rappers father i desire a covering to empower me to be able to reveal you more heaven says now you are speaking our language let's talk again is someone learning now this jealousy driven prayer and fasting does not produce result this envy driven prayer and fasting envy driven ministry envy driven pursuits god either give me the same thing or take away the other person's own the most important thing is let's be in the same position no. No. motif motif and then number three make sure you don't go to the place of prayer when you are not willing to obey god 
because oftentimes the real end point of your prayer is when divine instructions come and the moment instructions come the remaining part of that equation is at the mercy of your obedience if god tells you that the secret to your rising lord i'm trusting you for a job i'm trusting you to open up a door and then a rima word can come to you based on scripture and god gives you an instruction buy a basket of fruits and go and sow it as a seed to someone who just got a job now you had that that word god has already answered your prayer whether it will manifest or not it depends on your obedience and you say lord i won't buy a basket of food for anyone my ego will not allow me let's keep praying father in the name of jesus listen let me tell you um it doesn't work that way obedience is a powerful force did you hear what i said philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus who though being god equal with god the bible says did not consider it robbery are we together but that he shred he laid aside everything and came became a man died he was in the likeness of men and the bible says he died even the death of the cross on account of his obedience the bible says he was obedient unto death that is the realm of obedience Obe there is obedience unto inconvenience there is obedience unto shame there is obedience unto death that is the highest level of obedience obedience unto death there is obedience that does not kill you but just inconveniences you empty your account does not kill you but it's obedience unto inconvenience there is a reward connected to that the highest level of obedience that any man can manifest in this earth realm is this obedience unto death wherefore on account of this god hath so highly exalted him and given him an office a name that is above every other name let every other name fade away let every other name fade away till there's only you let every other name fade away you see when you sing songs like that this was the obedience that purchased that reality so when you go to pray and instructions come as rima you must obtain grace to obey and obey fast delayed obedience is disobedience in a measure because we walk based on the law of times and seasons you can obey god late and it will be equal to disobedience when he spoke to abraham genesis 22 he says take down your son your only son the bible says he arose early in the morning there is timing to obedience you don't obey when you want you obey when the word comes that is the reason why in the place of prayer among the many things you pray for is the doing grace the doing grace is what empowers the believer to take prompt action and reveal and redeem the time I hope God is helping us already. We are still discussing praying amiss. As we draw the curtains on this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman, let the transformative truths shared resonate within your spirit. May the seed of wisdom, faith, and purpose take root, bringing forth abundant fruit in your life. Carry the light of revelation into your week knowing that you are equipped for victorious living stay connected with the divine and continue to grow in the knowledge of god's love and grace until we gather again for another moment of spiritual enrichment go forth in confidence and may your journey be filled with divine favor if you have any question drop it on the comment section and we'll get back to you and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video. God bless you.